Hello, I'm Roger Farmer. I'm a Professor of Economics and Chair of the Economics Department at UCLA. Uh, and I'm here to talk about two books. Uh, the first one, uh, Expectations, Employment and Prices. Uh, and the second one is called How the Economy Works, Confidence, Crashes and Self-Fulfilling Prophecies. Expectations, Employment and Prices is really an attempt to bring Keynesian economics into the 21st century. And How the Economy Works uh, is both a description of how economists think about the world uh, and also uh, my own views about what we should do about things right now. One of the questions I get a lot is what caused the current crisis? How is it similar to other kinds of crises, particularly the Great Depression? Uh, the answer to that is the, the current situation was a crisis of confidence. Um, we've had ten recessions since the end of World War II and in every previous recession, uh, the Fed immediately lowered interest rates and helped us to bring, to bring us out of it. What's more similar about the current crisis than anything since the Great Depression is the Fed ran out of bullets. The, the interest rate got down to zero. And the same thing happened uh, in the early 1930s. So what makes the current crisis very similar to the Great Depression uh, is, is, uh, is precisely that standard remedies for getting out of depressions or recessions uh, were no longer going to work. Another question that people have asked, uh, asked me a lot is, is um, and why didn't this turn into the Great Depression? Uh, and the answer there is I think that um, central banks throughout the world stepped up to the plate uh, and started uh, intervening by, by, uh, by buying um, assets that they hadn't traditionally done. So uh, an example of that is uh, the, the Fed stepped in and started lowering um, mortgage rates by supporting uh, the assets of, uh, of, uh, 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 of the mortgage corporations in the United States. Um, that, I think, had a knock-on effect. And the reason that your 401k is worth about 40% more than it was a year ago has a lot to do with the fact that the Fed stepped up and intervened in the markets. Um, what can we do to stop this kind of thing from happening again? Uh, in my view, that creative intervention on the part of the Fed is something that we need to sustain in the future. We need a new kind of monetary policy for the 21st century. In writing this book, I, I was inspired by um, a, a science, one of my favorite science writers, Richard Feynman, uh, who, who wrote a book called uh, QED, Quantum Electrodynamics, in which uh, he explained in simple words a very difficult scientific idea. And uh, I, I, hope to have tried, I hope to have done the same thing in economics that Richard Feynman did for physics. So what I'd like you to take away from this is, is a much better understanding uh, of uh, how economists view the world uh, and how the economy works.